comes from our own president where they have to look at him and wonder, do you know what we go through? Do you know what we're trying to do to secure America and to secure the freedoms that have been bequeathed us? So when my own son is going through what he goes through coming back, I can certainly relate with other families. The numbers are always in flux, but we can safely say there are almost 8 million men and women in America at the moment, most former military, suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, a debilitating affliction that stretches back to the Vietnam War. So when Sarah Palin was faced with her son, a former member of the military, being arrested on domestic violence charges and then linking his troubles to President Barack Obama, she shook a beehive from veterans across America, angry that she would be using this issue for political gain. Our guest is a former Navy SEAL and author of Battle on the Home Front. Welcome Carl Higby back to the hard line. Carl, what have you been hearing today from your friends, your veteran mates, if you will, and their immediate reaction to what Mrs. Palin said? Uh, no one takes it very well. I think the issue here is that uh, you can't use PTSD as an excuse to commit any acts of wrongdoing or violence. And I think what, what she did was pretty disgusting in my mind. Is that what she's doing, though? Because you're the first person to bring it up. I've talked to a lot of veterans who are unhappy, but you were the first yeah. one to really come forward and say she is connecting domestic violence to PTSD. That in itself has got to be hurtful because she is then putting that out there. That will live with some people now, will it not? Ed, we are a nation be becoming a nation of excuses. And f I did not see it coming from Sarah Palin. I w especially wouldn't see it from coming from someone who's uh, endorsing Trump, of all people. But we are a nation becoming a nation of excuses. And this is just one more thing, how we're catering to it. Look, her son might have done something bad. Own it. Own it. Don't push it off on PTSD. You cannot politicize something like domestic violence. Look, this was a calculated move by the left to release this story on the same day as her endorsement own it though you would have gotten a lot better a uh, lot better traction well but wait a minute Let, let's get to this point here the left releasing the story well it did come out that her son was arrested or being charged on the same day right. that she came out and went for donald trump wouldn't right. it though still though no matter who set it out left right whatever should she have just stayed away from this and not tried to put this in a political sense end of story I think so, and I think she was trying to defend her son, which is a you know a mother's natural uh, natural intuition. But the fact of the matter is, she should have left it alone. She should have said, "My son made a mistake, and he shouldn't have done that." Or if she didn't want to convict him in the media, she should have said, "Look, I don't know everything that's happened yet. I wasn't there." But she should not have made it about PTSD. That's uh, that, that's the wrong move. Carl, what is it that people out there right now? Because you and I have spoken before, and I'm the son of a military veteran, and this is a very emotional issue to me because I have friends who are suffering from PTSD right now, and I watch them going through it. But for the people out there who look at this, how should they look at PTSD? I mean, not, not just in that sense, also of the politicians themselves who don't seem to give a damn about this. This is a backseat issue. I think uh, the problem is it's an inconvenient truth of, a, of the longest war in America's history right now, and people are coming home with severe mental uh, incapacities because of the sometimes 16-plus months in a combat zone, living, worried, looking over your shoulder every day. Guys are coming home, and they're tr having a hard time reintegrating with society. Additionally, there's, there's, uh, when you come back, you have virtually no transferable skills to a resume, so veterans are finding it harder to get a job, which also adds stress. PTSD is a stress-induced thing. The more stress you have, the more problems you're going to have integrating into society. Carl, here's the end question to all this. And I've asked this of a lot of my friends in the military right now that I've been in touch with today. In your opinion, and I'll ask you why as well, should Sarah Palin apologize to military veterans across America? I'm not big into apologies, Ed. She did something. No big deal. Let's move past it. Okay, let's see where it goes from here. Who knows? This may not, may not be what it's cracked up to be in the media. We don't know yet just yet. Okay? Right. So I'm not a big apology guy. All right. Carl, it's always a pleasure to get a chance to talk to you. Thanks so much for joining us.